Okay, I got my spare skid here. Just want to fix this up, have it all good for uh, when I need to swap one out. I can just put this one in and then work on the next one. Uh, these front top sliders look good. The back ones look a little worn, so I might replace those. The main sliders at the bottom look a little worn, so I'll definitely do those. Bearings, some are tight, some are loose, so I'll do those. These guys look a little worn out. I'll do those. Probably reuse the springs, but maybe hit the, the black parts, the springs and the frame parts with uh, some spray paint. If I have it all apart, see how I'm feeling. The rubber bits look brand new, so somebody must have just replaced those. The shock looks pretty good. I'll take it apart and just see how it functions, but I expect to reuse that guy too. But yeah, I'll uh, start knocking it down. Oh, yeah, and then the... Maybe the most important is this uh, the shaft is pretty rusted and pretty worn, so look at cleaning that up. Start with these front bogies. It's a 12, meter, 12 millimeter socket on those guys. And I might need a puller to help me take that off. Got my puller on there. There we go. Do the same thing on the other side. Same procedure for these rear ones. Notice they had uh, metal shielded bearings on those guys. Interesting. See the bearings are pretty bad on this one. Not quite as bad on this one, but missing the shielding. I notice this weird uh, grooving around here, and I noticed the same kind of thing on the same same kind of weird grooves on the sliders so I think uh, somebody had some track alignment issues so I guess snap ring players and pop that out should be able to drive that out a bit of crud in here so I'm just going to clean that up before I try and drive that bearing out of there Well, my vice doesn't have deep enough jaws to, to press that out. So I think I'm going to put a nut on this side and use my puller to push it out. Might be time to invest in a press. Just want to show you this. My jaws barely reach that. So it's pretty important that they're grabbing the metal part. Otherwise, you'll wreck stuff. Pretty hard. I might put some heat on the next one. A little penetrating fluid on there, too. <laughs> so I went to do one of these smaller ones and uh, one leg of the snap ring sticks more than the other so it doesn't uh, doesn't want to come free so if I pull it all the way it's just, just one of them moving so what I'm going to try and do is put a little tension on there and then tap this other one with that hand. It should loosen it up enough that I can get it out of there. So because the smaller one fits in the vise, I'm going to use a, a socket to get that one started. Holy moly. Oh, I might heat that up too. There we 
we go. Just go until I bottomed out on the vise. I'll just finish it off on a block of wood. Holy moly. Craziness. So I heated this last one up quite a bit more, put some penetrating fluid in there. I'm just going to let that sit to make my life a little easier. So I'm just going to put these uh, snap rings and bolts in a little bath of some rust remover. I had good luck with this stuff. That's it for a bit. Now that I got those bearings out, I'll just go around and try and clean them up. Either scrape them, probably brush is going to be my best bet. Just try and get that as clean as I can in there for the new ones. I'll go around and do that for all these. Okay, I got these cleaned up pretty good. Um, technique that I found is I put a little spray in there and then I put my thumb down on my uh, brush like this and then you're just able to kind of roll it and put some pretty good pressure on the inside face there. I don't know, worked good for me, so I thought I'd share that. So onto the sliders. I'm gonna take these screws out. I noticed there was a slit cut in this one, so I have a feeling this is gonna be interesting. I wonder if I shouldn't heat up this aluminum in anticipation. Uh, I might just see what happens with the impact driver. Got lucky on that one. Oh, two for two. Buy a lottery ticket. So to make myself my life a little easier here, I've just uh, gone and sprayed a little bit of penetrating fluid between the slider and the runner there, the rail. And then I just have a couple of rags at the bottom to catch what drips down there, but. Let that sit for a minute, should make my life a little easier. In the past, I've both hammered these tracks off or uh, if they're really worn out, I'll just pull them off. I'm gonna see if the pulling it off method works. It's a bit of hassle. Most of the way there. bad something weird was going on with the way these tracks were wearing like this side doesn't even look like it's worn and then this side's like a good eighth inch lower so yeah i don't know something's definitely not right here this side's worn all the way you can see how much thinner this side is than this side this side seems fine but something was wearing really badly on this um it's still got the dovetail portion all the way so i think the slider would still hold on there all right i just yeah i don't know shock's got this pink anodized port on it or something i i don't think that's stock is it maybe let me know what you think so i just went along with the brush and uh rag just cleaned out these dove tails um make my life easier when the sliders go back in i've seen this on a couple ones where there's like bumps indentations on this on these rails right here and it seems like both times it's right in that spot that i've seen that and i don't know what would cause that 
if you guys know what's dinging these up here, let me know. So I have to make a decision here. Am I gonna am I gonna pull this all the way apart and paint these pieces? Or I just replace what needs to be replaced. I think I might just leave them just because that one runner was so worn. I think if it was mint, I'd try and get everything perfect, but I might just keep this as a spare, not as a show pony. I don't know. Let me know what you would do. I'm going to take these slider bits off. There's a shaft in here that should be lubed as well, so I'll take these guys off. Oh my. Oh. has tabs that locates it prevents it from spinning on that shaft so you don't have to hold the bolt on the other side while you're taking those off and this should uh, just slide out of here then Good idea to keep that in the frame, I guess. <clears throat> if those are stainless. Hmm. Now I gotta clean up these guys. This is where I wish I had a lathe. Probably just run some sandpaper and then follow it up with some scotch bright, something like that. I just have some 240 emery cloth. It might not even be enough. We'll see. We're getting somewhere, but it's going to take a bit. Okay, so that's the emery cloth. I went to some 150 sandpaper. Now I'm on to the scotch bright. A little out of breath, but starting to see shiny stuff, so that's about as far as I'll take it. That's number two. Ugh. Not bad, though. Glad it's done. Next, I want to clean up these tubes that those shafts run in. I'm going to start with uh, the biggest pipe cleaner I have and just try and get all the loose stuff off from either end, kind of as far as I can reach from one side to the other. Should be able to get most of the length out of this if I go from both sides. And then I'll go through with a rag on a stick soaked in brake cleaner or something like that, kind of like you'd clean out a barrel of a gun. Come to think of it, if you had a big enough brush on a gun cleaning kit, that might be the ideal thing to use. I don't know if I do, but if I did, yeah, do that. The amount of rust dumping out of here is just unbelievable. Just coming in clouds. Okay, I got a bit of rag. I'm just gonna wad it up and stick it through there. See how much we got on the first pass. Do it a couple times dry and then I'll put some brake clean on it. 
Okay, I've jammed these rags through quite a bit, but they're starting to come out a little bit cleaner. I think I need a better brush, but on the harder you can pack it in there, the better it works. So take a couple a couple rams at it. Yeah. I think those are clean enough. I think uh, the next thing I want to do is drill and tap or weld on some nuts for some grease cirques. I have to figure out where I have the be best access when it's on the snowmobile. This guy will probably be on the bottom, but maybe you want maybe you want to put two per. Yeah, maybe one in the middle is probably okay. And I'll do the same on the other side. While I'm here, I may as well back these adjuster bolts out and clean them up. Be nicer to put those in with a little bit of anti-seize or something like that. So I'll take them all the way out and clean them up. Put them in that rust bath. And a little long. Yeah. Clean up this side that's not protected. And I might hold off on the grease cirques until I figure out where the best place to put those is. So I might uh, might do that in the next video. That's it for now.